Good morning everybody, Zanza here. With the Duelist Cup now gone, we have a new selection pack. And as always, I'm going to try and see if there's anything in here that DDD can actually use. We have Record of Noble Spirits. I'm not 100% sure what this, deck actually, uh, what this pack actually holds. I haven't seen any sort of the leak, so right now what you're going to see is my blind reaction to it. So let's take a look at the cards in the back. Oh, right off the bat, we get the uh, Constellar cards, Teller Knight cards. That's amazing. So for uh, for those of you guys who don't know, Constellar uh, was my first Egg Seed deck ever, and I just loved it so much. I'm actually going to build a deck for this. Um, yeah, I already have a few of the cards, like Constellar Play uh, Playadis, and I'm actually really looking forward to that. I'm actually not really caring about DDD right now. But we have uh, Grand Soul Fat Chord Kulia. I completely butchered the name. The Sofa Chord actually, I think, synergizes well enough with DDD. I forget how, but uh, I think it's because it's mainly Pendulum support. But I have seen a couple of decks use this. I don't know how well they did, but I know that it's possible. So we're going to take a look at that and see if it's actually a possibility to uh, link them together. So of course, we have Pleiades, Papotamus. What else we got? We have Caduceus, uh, Kedu and then we have. Try Edge Master, a level 6 warrior synchro monster. If this card is synchro summon, you can apply the appropriate effects based on the level used for the synchro summon. Or if you use three or more monsters as material, apply all the effects. So you get to destroy one like on the field, draw a card, treat this card as a tuner. Okay. I mean it's level six, so it's very easy to get all three effects. So that's pretty cool. Um, off the top of my head, I can't think of any deck that can use this, mainly because I'm not a synchro player, but Definitely cards like uh, decks like um, Sword Soul and Junk and even Tech Genus with the new cards coming out. Uh, ideally in Master, in Master Duel, they are already out in TCG and OCG. They can probably take a good use of this guy. Let's see what we got. We got Yadagorasu. That's interesting. And it's a UR here, but whatever. Then we got uh, Tsumu, uh, Tsumuha Kutsunagi, the Lord of Swords. Uh, cannot be special summon. You can tribute summon this card by tributing one normal uh, summon set monster. This card is normal summon for base up. Activate this effect. Your opponent can send any number of cards from their field or, gra or field to their graveyard. Then each player draws the same number of cards as were sent to the graveyard by this effect. Wait, okay. So activate this effect. Your opponent can send any number of cards from their field. Then each player draws the same number of cards as as for sent to the grave of this effect. During the end phase of the turn, this effect was activated. Shuffle all cards into the deck from the field, the graveyards that were banished and that are banished. Once per turn, during the end phase of this card, as on the field, was normal summoner for face up. Return this card to the hand. Okay, that is a pretty solid effect. 3000 attack is nothing to joke at, and you can easily tribute summon this guy by tributing one normal summon monster. I mean, I think you have to preset this up, but there are cards like decks like Blue Wonderies, actually no, they, they're, they're stuck on uh, Winged Beast Monsters, but there are other decks that allow you to normal summon more than once, so that's pretty cool. And then during the end phase of the turn, this effect was activated, shuffle all cards into the deck from the field, the graveyards, and that are banished. So that is pretty broken. This is actually a pretty good answer to Cash Tira and um, Runic, essentially, if you still see a lot of play in Master Duel. Uh, I think this is a pretty good card to take a look at, maybe throw into a uh, fake side deck. Basically have it ready for when you start seeing more decks that banish and or send to the graveyard or you know, try to basically deck you out. This would be a pretty good card to have there if you can manage off the uh, the extra normal summon. Then we have another spirit monster, Sakitama. We have the... Uh, we have the... Constellar, Teller Knights, which is fine. We have this card, Time Tearing Mog Morgana. I've seen this card. Um, other people have talked about this card, but let's take a look. For the rest of this, do apply the following effects. You cannot activate monster effects in the hand. Draw two cards instead of one for your normal draw phase. You can conduct two normal summon sets. Ah, there it is. So you can combine this card with Sumuha, and there you go. You can actually pull this off. It, um, a lot of DDD players do not like hand traps. I mean, for the longest time, for like, I think a year, I didn't even use hand traps at all until, you know, the game got too crazy. But 
technically speaking, we actually end up using cards in the hand, such as DD Griffin and DD Swirl Slime. So maybe this card will not be great for us. Uh, you cannot activate monster effects in the hand. So yeah, I mean we, for yeah, we can't use Swirl Slime. We can't use Griffin, and unfortunately, we cannot use uh, DDDD Super Dimensional Sovereign Emperor Zero Paradox. So I kind of take it back immediately. This card is not going to be really useful to us. You can banish this card from the graveyard. Then discard one time to Morgana. Your opponent cannot activate monster effects when you normal summon this turn. Okay, that's interesting. Um, yeah, I mean, you can use this thing at three. You really only need it, only need it the one, and then if you want to. I mean, if your opponent uses maybe like Trap Tricks or something like that, then you can go ahead and use this card. It's pretty situational, but unfortunately it's not really for DDD, so we're just going to leave it at that. Our last UR is Trap Tracks. Target one monster you control, destroy it, and if you do, set one normal trap directly from your deck. Um, okay, it can, be, it can be activated, so you can only activate one trap card for the rest of this turn after this effect resolves. Again, this also works really well. This would actually work better than Trap Trick, in my opinion. But the only... Um, so, right off the bat, I'm thinking of using this with Wonder XYZ in order to exceed Summon Kali Yuka on the opponent's turn. Unfortunately, though, you have to target one monster we control, which I think we already have... We, we can set up a field where we have either the rank 4 or rank 5 on the field along with our level 8 monster. So we can just destroy one of those, get a plus, get the search, or get the mill and then exceed into Kali Yuga during the opponent's draw phase if you toggle on to uh, manual for uh, chain activation. So this is actually a card that would probably be useful for DDD. I'm going to try and give it a shot. Let's see what else we got here. I don't recognize this card. Another machine, Beat Troopers, Infinite Tracks get more support, Virtual World gets support, Virtual World. Uh, Beat Troopers get more cards, that's pretty cool. Uh, so far nothing else really comes to mind in terms of what we can use. Oh, here we go. This is something we can use. Moisa Knight. I actually made a comment about this in the community tab a little while ago. Basically, it's a, it's a scale 11, which means we can now Pendulum summon um, all of our 10 monsters from the extra deck. Like, uh, like Zero, Laplace, even... Uh, bright Armageddon and Purple Armageddon if they were summoned correctly. So that's cool. If you Pendulum summon a monster, place this card at either top or bottom of the deck. Uh, so we basically don't even need to... Uh, so it's a, you Pendulum summon and then he's gone, which is great because we actually need the Pendulum Zones to, you know, further our place. Uh, further our place. It is a Warrior level 1 monster, which means we can actually search it out with Reinforcement of the Army if you guys go that route. When you draw this card, you can reveal it during your main phase this turn. You can conduct one Pendulum Summon of a monster from your hand in addition to your Pendulum Summon. Wow, so we can actually Pendulum Summon twice. So this is actually a pretty good card. Uh, I'm already liking this set. I mean, just for the fact that we get Trap Tracks and we also get our Moisa Knight. What else do we have in here? We have dual avatars, more Libromancer, Sulfur Cord, Tethema Alpha, Fusion Duplication. Target one Fusion of Polymer Station Normal or Quick Play Spell in either player's graveyard. Banish that spell, then apply that spell's effect when that card is activated. So, Brand the Destry can use this definitely, um, especially other decks that use Super Polymer. Oh no, uh, yeah, Super Polymerization. Wow. You can reuse Super Polymerization, and that is freaking broken. That is pretty crazy. And then apply. Okay, so technically you can still stop this card if they target Super Polymer Station. Thank you. Thanks to that semicolon. Uh, I wonder if meta players who use Fusion are going to end up using this card or not. Then we got to the R's and I don't see anything useful. Oh, what do we got? We got three eyed ghosts. You can send this card from the field to the graveyard. Add one level 10 dark monster from your deck to your hand. This actually searches out our uh, level 10 DDDs like Laplace, our Zero King uh, Rage. And what else we got that's level 10 in the main deck? Off the top of my head, I got nothing. I know we have Conquistador that if it ever comes out, that's another level 10 monster. We have that other Savant monster that no one ever plays because it kind of sucks. But it could be useful with uh, some of the plays 
if we get that trap card that inflicts uh, burn damage to the uh, to the opponent. But being level three means that we can potentially run uh, what's that? Uh, what's that level three DDD monster? Uh, oh my god, I'm only really blanking this name, but you guys know the one. It requires uh, two level three monsters. You can use this guy as an option if you actually need to for some reason. And then you can just search your level 10s out with this card. So, I mean, there might be potential here, but the fact that, uh, I mean, the fact that it's, it's a zomb uh, it's a fiend monster, and Dark gives it some playability for us. So what else do we got in here? Uh, oh, we have Pendulum Moon. Um, I think I've looked at this card before. It didn't really make much sense for me to try it out. During your main phase, you can add one face of Pendulum Pendulum Monster from your extract to your hand. Then destroy this card, which means you can add in other pendulum pendulum cards, which I don't really use. I haven't really seen a need for them, but I mean, it could be something there. Monster effect in your main phase, you can add up to two face up pendulum monster from your extra deck to your hand. Okay, that right there is pretty interesting. It's a level one monster, which means you can target it with one for one, and this would probably be good during mid or late game if you, once you have your extra deck kind of stacked with cards. Um, you can add up the okay, monster from the extra deck to your hand with the levels between the pendulum scales of the two cards in your pendulum. So, okay, so you need pendulum zones in order to activate the effect, but that's fine. We can easily do that. Also, for the rest of this turn, until you pendulum summon, you cannot activate monster effects. That's pretty straightforward. I mean, obviously, we're gonna want to uh, we're gonna want a pendulum summon. So, a pendulum scale of zero, we can probably run this up really well with uh, a scale of ten. Get anything from the extra deck, probably our Oblivion Kings, uh, come, come to mind immediately and then just kind of pop off from there. I think it's a pretty good card, though if you don't finish off your opponent, if you had to normal summon this guy, uh, this lady, I'm sorry, um, then, you know, you, there's a good chance you're probably going to lose. What else do we have in here? Um, virtual World, self Flash, Spiritual Art, Virtual World, Virtual World. I'm not seeing anything else that we can use. And then there's more sofa. I'm sorry, I'm completely butchering this name. Me sofa cord. Me sofa cord. <laughs> oh my god, I can't say words this morning. But anyway, so that's pretty much it for this pack. Uh, again, just a quick recap: cards to put, cards that have potential use for us is going to be Sumuha Kutsunagi, the Lord of Swords. Targeted along with maybe time tearing Morgan Morganite if you choose not to run uh, Griffin or uh, what do you call it or Swirl Slime in your hand. But granted, you can uh, you only really you only really need to use Griffin and uh, Swirl Slime maybe once um, in your hand to you know pull off your combos and kind of go from there. The rest of the time, Swirl Slime is best in the graveyard, so you can special summon monsters from your hand so i mean it might be still useful if you guys actually end up seeing a lot of decks that end up using those uh nonsense cards that uh mill and banish your deck another card to look out for is trap tracks again replacing trap tricks in order to uh x use wonder x seed and potentially pop one of your rank four or five that you special summon to your field get a plus one in your hand or extra card in your graveyard and then you get to summon kali Yugi on their turn Obviously, they can't do anything except maybe summon some monsters from the hand or get some hand effects and then go, go from there. And that's really it for the deck. Oh, and of course, sorry, one more time, Mo Moisa Knight is another card we can use right alongside with, um, where is it? Right alongside maybe three, maybe three eyed ghost. That's a hard maybe. And then, of course, Pendulu Moon. But anyway, that's it for this pack. I think I've ranted on long enough. I'm definitely going to be pulling for it and see if I get my Constellar cards. If you guys would be interested in seeing a pure Constellar deck featuring honor, three Honest, which I know piss people off. Uh, basically, it's going to have three Dark Holes, three Torrential Tributes, Trap Tricks, and this Trap card now that's there. But anyway, let me know what you guys think about this pack, If some which cards you're actually going to use for DDD, or in general, what other decks you guys are actually going to use. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.